up nerds <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys i am so pumped as you guys saw the title we will be doing my giant birthday haul <laughs> so these are all the books that i bought myself with the justification of well my birthday's coming up so let's just buy it <laughs> it has been going on since like may 12 honestly <laughs> you're seeing this the day after my birthday but still it's still like there's like a month. I get myself a month, you know? Sometimes, sometimes. This year I did. So, <laughs> anyway, we have so many books. So let's just jump right in. First, if you guys like book hauls, if you guys like all the nerdy things, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's just get started. A couple housekeeping things. One, I ditched the chair for today just because I knew there's going to be a lot of books. It's going to be a lot, so I was like, I knew it was going to get hot with the chair the whole nine, so we're throwing it back to the floor. <laughs> I think that's better. Second, this shirt. So I got this one off Etsy for myself, and I thought it was so stinking cute, so cute. I dropped foundation on it this morning, tried to scrub it out. I read it on Google that you're supposed to, like, whatever, scrub it out and then put it in the washer. And I don't know why that happened. They do. I mean, like, the shirts look cheap. They do look cheap. <laughs> they, they're t-shirts. They're, like, whatever shirts. Which is not the end of the world because, honestly, like, I wear my shipped shirts in the every single video. So, like, this will be something to spice it up. I wasn't looking for, like, a nice shirt to wear or anything. Um, but, um, that's annoying. Whatever. So, then I also got this one. I thought this was so cute and I definitely like when I saw it on the thing so she had a picture on and it was like a tan shirt and it was so cute but I feel like on the I don't know if it's just the color of the shirt that makes these colors look insane like they look like children's colors I don't know it just makes the shirt look a little cheap so I don't know what the whatever but again they're just like t-shirts that I was like oh my gosh like so cute. So I'm obsessed with this one. I might like try to get a new one <laughs> because this one I actually love. This one's like, okay, but I got those. So I wanted to tell you those. Okay, let's jump in. So we have some packages that I haven't even opened yet, which should be fun and fresh. So let's go in. Actually, I lied. <laughs> I lied. There are some books that you would have seen already in my um, TBR jar. So we're going to go over those really quick and then um we'll kind of go with the packages so I did pick up powerful by Lauren Roberts um this is the little novella I did start it I'm enjoying it so I'm excited to see kind of what happens what all the GCT is but <laughs> um I did get this um I, this was again part of my TBR prompt jar video so whatever also so was the Broken Vow by Sophie Lark but again I wouldn't have done that video <laughs> if it was not my birthday month so <laughs> just so we're clear um but I did get this book I'm so excited to read this I obviously am not yet we also got When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker this book is massive and I did start it and I was like this is like a lot so I got didn't even read chapter one I just read the prologue so hopefully like I don't know this ends up being really good because it looks so good I just haven't gotten it around to it this one I also have not read yet we got Belladonna by Adeline Grace I'm actually really excited about this but the audiobook is mad expensive and it's not free anywhere so whatever this one I'm gonna try to read <laughs> I'm gonna try to meet read my TBR but like this one has priority here I really want to read this before the end of June um it's a funny story by Emily Henry I did also get this and I'm very excited to read this um uh, I'm nervous about it but I'm very excited about it <laughs> we're just gonna stack them up here all right then we got another Amazon stack that I like got a little bit ago um well not even a little bit ago but I opened already I should say um I picked up the two little novellas in the Jacksonville Rays hockey series by Emily Rath <laughs> these are like like this is the first one this is the second one I said yes girl <laughs> I just needed these I love the series so much and the collect collection is not complete without these <laughs> these are not the prettiest like covers but like definitely um love the books enough that I was like I need these so bad so this is a little treat for to myself <laughs> this whole haul was but this too these I've read already though technically so um I could probably put them over there but whatever 
I actually also got Fractured Freedom by Shane Rose. So this book, this author I've heard a couple things about. Um, and Katherine Amara actually, I don't know if they're friends or like she recommends her books a lot or really likes her books. So there is a new book that just released in one of her series. I don't know if it was this series or a different series. But anyway, it led me down a rabbit hole and this is a first book in a series. I know nothing about it, but I was like, it's giving Katherine Amara a little bit. So um, I was like, we're going to try it and we're going to see what the juicy tea is. All right. I actually got that one at Barnes and Nobles. So, so I also got this one. This one you guys know though. I was like, um, I need this book. This is Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. So this is the second one in the Red Rising trilogy. Like how floppy. So beautiful. <laughs> in the Red Rising series. I'm sorry, not trilogy. It's the Red Rising trilogy, but there's like extensions or something like that. Anyway, um, I would definitely want to like get through the series. I really did enjoy the first book, so I'm excited to see like kind of what happens. And then you also can get like the dramatized version on my hoopla, and then um, the uh, audible version is also I think free. I don't know for how much longer because I, I think they said for like a certain amount of time. So anyway, um, I don't know if it's actually still free right now, but I knew at some point you could get it for listen to it for free so hopefully that's still the case um if not I'll see if um whatever <laughs> I'm gonna try to listen to this because I listened to the first one and I really enjoyed that so we'll see but if not it's very floppy so I'm like I probably could read it and be totally fine so I bought that one from Barnes and Nobles as well you know Barnes and Nobles is expensive expensive all right then I also um placed um an Amazon order I got forever after all by Katherine Amara <laughs> I just think I I really I keep not forgetting I just have to remind myself that her Windor series is her most like current series so it's like her most current releases so anything before that is not gonna be as good because I did start this if you guys didn't see my trying to do another 24-hour readathon um I started this and I did enjoy it it just didn't hit the same way these hit so um I stopped <laughs> a little bit through but I definitely want to get to this at some point it's standalone which is like perfect because obviously I don't need any more series so <laughs> I know, I can't believe I left the sticker on. Now, this one was so exciting. This is The Serpents and the Wings of Night um, by Chris Broadman. Now, I've actually read this book. <laughs> um, I have it in the paperback when, uh, before it was picked up, I believe it's picked, yeah. Before it was picked up, and now she got picked up, and like, look at these covers. I'm like, this is stunning like so beautiful so I'm so excited I want to get the second one as well um it just got to my target and I'm like <laughs> because I really want to get it um um this book I love this book and I would definitely reread this so I'm thinking about doing a reread before the newest one comes out I think it comes out in like November or something like that um so although they're not like directly like it's not the same characters they're kind of related so like I'm I could still reread this <laughs> and um I got it so like why not give her some love too? You know, now I have both. And then there's a new, um, now I can't get this off of my nails though. There's a new, um, little cover for the novella and I want to get that too, but that one's not coming out until I think September or something like that. I don't know. These are so beautiful. So I just needed it. <laughs> that was another little treat. All right, now we can open some packages. So I started opening this one. This is obviously from Prime. Ooh, so this is, oh my gosh, this is literally massive. This is huge. Oh my gosh, it's almost the same size as the, as that. I don't know what a normal size book is. Look how, look at it. That's massive. But I did already read this. So you can actually get this series on Kindle Unlimited, but I wanted the paperback because um, I really loved it so much. Nice. Um, but this is Bonded by Thorns by Elizabeth Helen. Um, this is kind of like a Beauty and the Beast retelling, sort of. It's like hard to explain and we're not here for that right now, but I did pick this up. I just, I really wanted it. So I'm hoping that the other ones are the same size. Oh, this is not that. Hold on. Let's open this one. <laughs> this one also you can get on Kindle Unlimited, but I have the rest of the series. This is um, Kingdom of Lies. This is book four um, out of a four book series. This is a queen this fierce and deadly. I'm so excited to finish this series. Um, I honestly like, 
I have to like dig deep to remember what the other ones were about. But I remember enjoying this series. It wasn't like my favorite or my number one series by any means, but it was definitely... Okay, I'm just making a mess now. It was definitely um, like good enough for me to obviously finish and continue the series. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're all gonna fit, but we got a second row here. <laughs> um, um, I didn't put this one on there. Anyway, so I'm really excited about that. Then we got this bad boy. So... Again, another just a little treat. It was like a little treat. <laughs> I didn't need it, but I really wanted it. This is Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young. This is like the new covers. And where are they? They match. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> this one's not glossy though. I wonder if that's like because it's a different series. I don't know. Um, but like how cute. Are you kidding me? So I needed the whole series. Um, there's going to be a new book soon coming out with this one. So I do have the old cover. Um, I don't know if it's like what it was. I love this cover. I think this is the one of the prettiest covers that's ever existed. Um, but I was like, I just need this one too because it's so cute as well. And honestly, I normally hate faces on cover and this is actually super cute. So I needed it. I needed it. <laughs> that one I also really want to reread though. Oh my gosh, this is a brick. So I got the first and the third book just because I want to read the third book and then I want to get the whole series. So I was like, it didn't matter first or second because I already read them both. Um, so I'm just going to wait to get the <laughs> um, third one eventually, but just not right now. You can see we got a lot. Um, but I want to, this is insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like double. Um, but I'm excited to continue this series. So I wanted to have it so that we can um, like pick it on a TBR or something like that. And then it'll motivate me to read it like physically. I don't know. It's just when they're on my Kindle, I have no motivation to read them. So anyway, um, this is, these are so beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this, and I'm counting it just because um, I got it with my book of the month. Um, which I can show you that one as well. For my choice, and I ended up going with the Rom um, One Star Romance, sorry. <laughs> the One Star Romance by Laura Hankin. I was not super excited about the choices, but I really wanted to do an add-on. <laughs> so um, I had to kind of pick a book, and so I was like, oh, whatever, it's fine. This one felt like the one that well, I would probably like the most out of the stack here. Um, which it does seem interesting. It's just in third person. And so I'm like, why? <laughs> like, can you not? Can you not? <laughs> and so sometimes that does um, ruin a book for me. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, I got that one because I really wanted to add on the rom converse by Catherine Center, which you guys know. <laughs> I just, I love it. I love this, love her. I had the other two, so I just needed the trio of all book of the month. Like, how beautiful is that? That is literally stunning. So I needed it in my life, and I cannot wait for her next books. I will collect them all. I'm not touching her backlist, but, like, this makes me so happy. Um, and spoiler alert, I read this, loved it, 5 out of 5. 5 stars? 5, 10 out of 10. 5 stars, <laughs> if you are wondering. 6 stars, truly. Obsessed. Love this. Isn't that oh, so gorge? That just made me so happy. All right. Then we have some books from... Target. <laughs> so I wanted to get these on release day, the day they released. So I've been holding on to them for a little bit, but um, I just needed them. So I did a pickup order because I couldn't get there like right when they opened. And then also, I don't know if they put the books right out right away um, or like the night before or what, um, because I went to pick up my order and the bookstore, the book section is like right across. And I was like, I didn't see some of these books. And I was like, Maybe they just put that like let because they let me chew up uh, do a pickup order online so maybe they just took them from the back and I was like guys you need to get on stay on top of it people want these books man so I did pick up three first I'm so excited about this I'm taking this on vacation it's small it's short this is from Summer Romance by Annabelle Monaghan I honestly know nothing about this book. No, it's not third person. Um, but she has a couple other books that people are just obsessed with. And I didn't put two and two together. I really saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, it's coming out in June. Let's get it. I didn't even like read anything about it. I have no idea. I know it's a summer romance, obviously. And that's all like enough said. That's all I've been reading <laughs> right now. So I'm very excited about this. This is coming with me on vacation. And um, hopefully it's amazing. And then hopefully again, then I realized that she has other books that people love. So it's like, oh, so I'm going to collect your backlist. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. 
We also, of course, had to pick up Leather and Lark by Bryn Weaver. <laughs> I just finished Butcher and Blackbird, and so now I like I just I needed it so quickly. I was like, this is not gonna like sell out my Target. I'm getting it, and <laughs> when I'm ready to read it, it'll be here because um, I did not want to wait for like Amazon or anything. No, I'm probably not gonna read it soon. I honestly thought about it when I first got it. I was like, should I just read it today? Because I was in the mood for nothing else. <laughs> um, but then I found some other stuff that I was like in the mood for but <gasps> no are these different publishing companies why would you do this to me Bryn Weaver they look very similar but like Boo. I think the height is the exact same though it's just the like <laughs> labels down there whatever anyway so I'm excited to read this and again hopefully we can put it on a TBR soon <laughs> Next month, I don't know. Last but not least, the greatest book of all time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the most, one of the most exciting books. I'm trying to get the sticker off, so I'm gonna just keep talking. One of the most exciting books. One of my most anticipated reads so far. Now, this book actually you can get on um, Kindle Unlimited, but I like to read the paperbacks um, because. Can you guess what book this is? I don't know. You probably saw it already. Oh. <laughs> this is House of Light and Ether by Leah Stone. This is the third book in the, what is this even called? Gilded something trilogy? Of the Gilded City trilogy. And I am screaming dying on the floor. I love the first two books so, so freaking much. Like, I am so so heartbroken that this is ending <laughs> I believe it's a trilogy and um I don't know her writing was just so good so she does have a couple books on like other series that I might have to check out this writing is so good one of my favorite series so far this year and like this book better not disappoint <laughs> I just have such high expectations I'm like oh man but I just have a feeling it's gonna be good this is again this is why I like um um I like the paperback because it is kind of floppier but um also it's very short very quick the writing is like a decent size like so I just feel like it takes ticking all the boxes as far as like a paperback goes um but then also ticking a lot of boxes as far as um I have the other book here like this is the book one and this is book three like isn't this aesthetic so beautiful I'm obsessed obsessed <laughs> So I needed that one. Right, guys, so that's everything. Let's count them really quick. <laughs> 20. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that's a lot of books, y'all. That's a lot of books. <laughs> um, but obviously, you can see we had the room on the TBR card. Um, and only... I think there's two books, new new books that are not on the TBR card. Like, it's I definitely have space. The bottom row still has some um, space, too, technically. But um, it's not like my TBR card was full, which is why I wanted to empty it last month. <laughs> um, because I wanted to get a lot of new books this month. And so I'm very excited. <laughs> um, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what books you hauled this month. There are definitely, that's the thing, too. There are definitely, I was going to do, like, 25 because I just turned 25. But... There are probably like 10 more books that are in my Amazon cart because um, a lot of them come out at the end of June. So um, I probably at this point when this is uploaded, I probably did buy Ali Hazelwood new book, Ali Hazelwood's new book. But like, again, it just takes a second and I pre-film um, a little bit. And then um, Lauren Asher's new book comes out. Like I want that one really bad. And then, <laughs> um, oh my gosh, what's her name? Ashley Poston comes out with the book at the end of the month as well like so lots of people are doing it <laughs> coming out with books at the end of the month so I'm saving this the extra space for that <laughs> you know you know all right guys that is it I really hope you guys enjoyed it um let me know what books you guys want me to read what you want to see featured in videos what are you like oh my gosh tell me more let a girl know um and yes I will see you next time bye nerds